大家好，歡迎嚟到十八十説，我係大力升學嘅 Royce。今日啦，我哋就到 c r o w n Polytechnic University KPU 嘅其中一個 campus。呢度咧就係 Richmond Campus。咁啊，其實佢咧離開 Downtown Vancouver 咧，都只係廿零，差唔多廿五分鐘車程到嘅啫。咁喺呢一度啦，就有啲特別嘅科啦，好似譬如佢哋有呢個 Entertainment Arts 嘅 program 可以讀啦，亦都有個叫做 Acupuncture 嘅 program 可以讀嘅。咁除咗呢啲啦，亦都有佢哋嘅 faculty of science 啊，同埋 horticulture 啦，都係喺呢一度。咁啊，呢度咧就做好多比較 practical 嘅嗰個 studying 啦。咁我哋不如一齊去睇下入邊嘅嗰個 facility 同埋學習環境啊！咁喺呢度咧就有幾個科目咧，但誒學生咧如果有興趣嘅話咧，係可以喺呢度報嘅。咁其實佢主要嘅 faculty 入邊啲 facility 啦，都喺曬一棟 building 入邊。咁啊，我哋而家呢一度咧喺我誒後邊咧就有嗰個誒 acupuncture 嘅嗰個 course 可以讀啦。咁而家咧就係讀 diploma 嘅。咁入邊咧就有好多誒好 practical 嘅 skills 啦，學生咧係可以喺呢度學到。咁同埋佢隔離咧就已經有一個誒 clinic， 咁就 open to public 嘅。咁基本上咧就係誒，如果即係出邊誒，即係啲 community 啊，即係想過嚟呢一度誒，無論係即係做嗰啲治療啊，咩都好咧，亦都可以過嚟呢一度誒，即係 book 一個誒 schedule 啊，好似一個普通 clinic 咁樣。咁跟住學生咧，有經驗嘅學生咧，就已經可以喺呢度即係實習嘅啦。咁至於呢度第二個比較誒 interesting 嘅嗰個 courses 啦，亦都係而家誒可能比較。誒 popular 嘅嗰個 career choice 咧就係啲 entertainment arts 啦，咁呢度咧就係讀好多誒好似譬如 game development 啊，或者係誒 3D、2D animation 啊，誒嗰啲 diploma 或者 certificate 咧都喺呢度讀到嘅。咁啊，其實呢個呢啲兩年嘅課程啦，全部都好誒 practical 啦，亦都好多誒即係叫做誒。practice 嘅嗰個 opportunity， 同埋呢度嘅 professor 咧，全部都喺個 industry 入邊咧都有做嘅，所以佢哋學到嘅嗰啲 skill set 咧，亦都係好啱誒，即係出邊去到揾嘢做嘅時候咧，去用到嘅。咁至於我哋呢一邊嘅 campus 啦，誒即係樓下啦，就係嗰個 library 啦。咁啊，學生啦，亦都可以誒，即係喺 open hour 嘅時候咧，隨時入去即係温書啊，或者係即係靜靜地喺度做 project 啊，亦都 OK 嘅。咁啊，亦都 library 隔離啦，佢有個 association。咁啊，學生咧，即係如果可以睇到喺 billboard 上面有啲咩 activities， 佢哋想做嘅話咧，亦都可以喺 association 嗰個可能 reception 前面啊，就可以揾啲 staff 報名。咁啊，亦都可以唔係淨係喺 Richmond 呢個地方度讀書，亦都可以出去誒，即係 settle 下或者係誒，即係 experience 下呢一度嘅嗰個 environment。咁喺呢邊啦，亦都有誒嗰啲 student 開去嘅 cafeteria 啦。咁啊，基本上就係比出邊誒，即係食嘢買嘢食咧就平啲嘅。咁啊，至於誒學生咧，只需要淨係即係碌卡啦，或者等俾錢得㗎啦，唔需要 student card 嗰啲。咁啊，佢呢度都誒 keep 住啦，都會有新嘅嗰個誒叫做 store 啊，或者係 restaurant 入嚟啦。咁啊，學生可能到時新入嚟嘅讀書嘅時候咧，就可以食到呢度新嘅嘢。
。咁呢一度啦就係 KPU 嘅嗰個 design 嘅 faculty 啦，呢度咧就叫 Wilson School of Design。咁啊，其實 KPU 啦，佢比較出名嘅 design course 咧，全部都喺呢度讀噶啦，就一定喺 Richmond Campus 嘅。咁所以如果大家有興趣讀嘅咧，就一定要早啲報名，因為無論係 domestic 啦或者 international 咧，都好多人嚟報名嘅。咁啊，至於呢度嗰個 facility 啦，就誒有四層高啦，咁就誒所有 classroom 啦，隔離都有個即係細嘅 workshop。咁基本上學生咧就喺嗰度即係温書啦，或者誒聽 professor 嗰啲誒 classes 啦，跟住隔離咧就可以做佢哋 practice 做佢哋嘅 project。咁基本上咧，如果學生自己都有啲 project 想做，咁啊個房又 available 咧，都可以自己入去咧，即係做佢哋嘅 work 嘅。咁其實呢棟 building 啦，就誒係有條橋啦，可以駁住去誒頭先嗰個誒 building 嗰度嘅，即係無論係嗰個誒 library 啦，或者係嗰個誒 student service 啊 ，association 咧都可以好容易就行到過去噶啦。咁同埋咧呢個地方都非常之方便啦，因為隔離咧就係有個誒 TNT supermarket 啦。咁啊，同埋有好多餐廳啦，台灣餐廳啦，學生咧都可以誒去食嘅。咁我哋一陣間咧都會行過去睇下，睇下嗰度啲咩 options 俾大家揀。咁喺我後邊啦，就係 KBU 嘅 international office 啦。咁如果所有 international 學生有啲咩問題，無論係嗰個 academic 啦，或者係 partial care 啊 well-being 嘅問題咧，都可以喺呢度問嘅。咁可能最好預約先。咁啊 ，make sure 一有時間啦，咁啊可以到時問嘅問題咧就比較簡單啲嘅。My name is Kenneth Abad.、Um, I work for KBU International. I'm a recruitment. I'm an international recruitment coordinator.、Um, I take care of the USA and Middle East market, and I'm also a KPU alumni.、Um, so I graduated from KPU in 2016,、um, and I had the opportunity to attend this school after、uh, high school.、Um, I grew up.、Um, I was born and raised、uh, here in Richmond, BC.、Uh, so this is my hometown、um, and my home campus here in KPU. So. We have the opportunity to、uh, do this this interview, this Q and A in、uh, the Richmond campus and the Wilson School. In Kwangan, we have five campuses、um, situated in about three cities around the Metro Vancouver area. So the main campus of KPU is actually in Surrey, BC,、um, which I had the chance to attend a lot as well during my third and fourth years classes.、Um, we also have two other campuses in Surrey: one in the Civic Plaza by the station, and the other one at Cloverdale, which is kind of like Eastern Surrey. Uh, their, our fifth campus is at Langley,、um, so it's the one most further east from all the、uh, other campuses. And that campus is、uh, it's just it's far, but it has a bigger land, so there's lots of like、uh, grass and stuff for the landscaping and like horticulture students,、um, so they could grow their gardens and practice and apply what they learn、uh, from classes. So Richmond campus is special to me because、um, it's close to home for me.、Uh, it was really close, easy to get here when I was a student.、Um, but my favorite part would probably be this building here. It's the、uh, school design.、Um, it's the building that was built in I think 2018,、um, and is fu fully funded by Lululemon, our partners、um, that helped fund our fashion programs. And I just love the architecture in this building. It's, you can kind of see the the wooden and the, this. The concrete architecture and, and the glass walls—I just absolutely love it.、Um, and you get to meet the fashion students as well, which is everyone's very quirky and everyone's dressed so nice. I always feel underdressed when I walk in here during the、uh, the school semester because everyone's just so fancy and fashionable, as, as expected of fashion students.、Um, but I also do love the the main building,、uh, the main Richmond building as well, just because it's definitely one of the quieter campuses. Um, but it also、uh, just has a lot of memories for me, just being a student here, because I did spend most of my first and second year here as a student. At KPU as a whole, we have about twenty thousand students、uh, enrolled annually. So every year,、um, about thirty to thirty-five percent of that are international students,、um, and it really ranges. It goes up and down depending on the semester and depending on the time of the year.、Um, In terms of the campuses, it's really hard to say because here in Quake Quantlin and actually many schools here in BC, students get to create their own schedule. So、um, students have the flexibility to choose most of their classes in Richmond or most of their classes in Surrey, and that's really one of the the key aspects. Of, one of the things I loved about、uh, KPU is that I was able to create this, my class schedule based on my personal life, right? So whether if I work part time. Or、uh, maybe I work two jobs, or maybe、um, I have family and personal things I have to deal with. I'm able to work my change my school schedule around for that,、um, and I quite enjoyed that. And 
not depending on the program as well, but most schools are like that as well in, um, in BC. I would say the most key thing about KPU is, is in the name actually, is the Polytechnic, is the applied learning and hands-on, and it really encompasses a lot of the, the programs, the specialty programs we have. Um, so for example, like our fashion programs is, is very hands-on. Students are expected to be in the classroom, to be at the studio and actually like sewing their clothes or actually creating the designs and, and the different types of styles and the, like the frills on the clothes and the way it's sewn. Um, same as our brewing program. So students, uh, they're actually in a real brewing studio lab and they did create the beer um, and do the calculations and do all the mixing and cooking and everything and creating the final product. Um, so it's, it's that applied learning and, and uh, hands-on experience. And it's something that I experienced as well when I was a student. So even though I was doing social sciences, most people would assume I was just sitting in a classroom and listening to lectures all day, getting an essay, go home, write an essay and hand it in. But in fact, um, there was a lot of applied aspect to it that my teacher included. Um, so things like uh, lots of group and focus group work um, and research. So for example, uh, we had a research project and the first half of the class, the teacher was talking about theories and ways to do research. And the second half, the teacher was like, okay, don't come to class. Go do your research, choose a topic you like, do your research and present to us at the end of the year. So that's what we did. We didn't go to class. We, I went to interviews, I went to do surveys, focus groups, and I put together all of my evidence and everything, and all my research, and I presented it to my class. So that's really, I think, encompasses the polytechnic aspect of KPU, of that you're not just sitting in the classroom and listening to lectures and theories, that you're actually applying it and using it in, in real life situations. So when you go out into working full time or uh, you become a researcher or maybe go to post, post graduation, um, you, you, you remember things easier when, when you actually used it, when you actually did it, instead of just hearing the, the cases or hearing your teachers saying that they did this, they did that, right? So I think that really adds on to the, the educational aspect of uh, what I learned here. In terms of statistics, um, I believe the BC average for employability for uh, post-secondary graduates is about 85% on average. Um, at KP, we're above 90%, so we're above the average, uh, which is great. And that really, really relates back to the polytechnic aspect, right, the hands-on. So a lot of our programs are, are very industry specific um, and has maybe co-op or has um, like very um, industry specific skills that employers are looking for. Um, so one example is our fashion programs. Um, going back to the fashion programs, a lot of our students that uh, they're getting jobs before they even graduate. Um, they're getting offers from like Lululemon, Arcteryx, Book and Fort, Nike, just because they already got so much experience like studying here in KPU and the employers know that they already have what they have even before they graduate. Um, so it's another one is uh, our animation program just currently starting in fall 2022. Um, our, I know a lot of instructors said studios are already reaching out to them for students to work part-time at their studio while they're learning here in KPU. And as a student, you're already gaining work experience while you're studying and you're probably gonna get offered before you even finish your schooling for a job, right? And here being Hollywood North, like it shouldn't be difficult for anyone in animation or game development or, or um, studio production to get a job as well. But that relates to many other programs as well in KPU. So uh, in terms of student support, um, here in KPU, we, we have support services all the way, from the beginning all the way to the end. Um, so from when you're applying first as a student, um, to when all the way till after you finish graduation. Um, so one of the key things would be like academic advising, right? So uh, the advisors are really the, the brain, the, the key in, in helping students, making sure that they, they're going through the right path to finish their degree, they're taking the right courses, um, they're taking, they're scheduling their courses right, um, and um, that they're successful in that as well. And we have other uh, support services such as like career development. So when a student graduates um, and they're not sure how to make their, build their resume, how to prepare for an interview or what to expect for an interview after they graduate, we have career development that could help students with that. Um, if you're a current student and maybe you're struggling with English or, or math, you could go to the library and there's tutoring services, right? So you could have senior students help you with your math or with your English if you're struggling with 
or just give you some pointers in that as well. And we have sports and rec to keep yourself healthy, like yoga, um, we have leagues as well, um, and the Kwanlin Student Association as well, which has lots of discounts and services specifically just for students. Um, so there's this huge amount of services, um, everything you can kind of think of that could make sure that you're successful as a student here. Yeah, my, my only advice is just to, to be open-minded and, and to be ready for new experiences, right? Um, going to the university, uh, for me at least, was, was amazing because you you're experiencing different things, you're meeting different people and you're just doing a lot of first of everything, right? And as an international student, when you come to Canada, it's going to be even more so for you. Like everything's going to be first. Everything's going to be new. And my 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 uh, my I suggest to just be open-minded and just be ready to learn new things and um, to challenge yourself and become a better person. So today, we are watching KPU Richmond Campus. Ah, we are actually there. There are a lot of courses. Ah, they are very focused. They are very practical. Still, we are doing. For example, the School of Design. Ah, there are some classes. There are some courses. 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 基本上就入面有班房，跟住出到嚟咧就係佢哋個 clinic open to public 嘅。咁基本上咧呢度咧都可以俾到啲學生好多啲 experience。咁啊，無論做咩 courses 都好啦，都可以好容易咧去出去揾到嘢做。因為咧亦都呢個做做 experience 之外咧，佢哋嘅 knowledge 都基本上咧已經係可以都 pick up 到噶啦。咁再講咧 ，Richmond 呢個地方咧，其實佢哋嘅 Chinese community 咧都比較大啦，比較強嘅。所以喺呢度生活啦，嘅學生啦就可以好容易咧就已經喺呢度誒，即係。講緊佢哋平時即係喺屋企平時開嘅嘢啊，或者去 shopping、去 supermarket 買嘢啊，都好方便。同埋咧呢度價錢都比較平啲嘅。咁啊，如果學生有興趣想知多啲誒，關於呢間學校嘅資料咧，就歡迎嚟揾我哋大嘅海外先學嘅同事啦。我哋都會都會俾到嗰啲資訊你哋嘅。咁啊，如果大家中意睇呢條片嘅話咧，就記得 like、comment 同埋 subscribe 我哋 YouTube channel。我哋下集再見啦，拜拜。有海外升學問題？即刻 WhatsApp 大地啦！